To understand the benefits of CBTC, we need to talk about traditional fixed block signaling. On a fixed block signaling system, the railroad is divided into blocks to keep trains a safe distance apart. Blocks are electrically distinct segments of the line and can vary in length depending on the speed limit and geometry of the segment. When a train is detected in any part of a block, that block is considered occupied. The signaling system thus keeps the train behind it at a safe distance by prohibiting movement into an occupied or buffer block. This safe distance is enforced by stop arms which can activate the brakes of a train if it tries to move into one of these blocks. It's a very safe system, but there are many limitations. First, there's no precise location or speed control. We never really know where the train is and we're limited in our ability to control the speed of the train. Not knowing exactly where a train is means we can't safely operate them more closely together. So we can't increase the number of trains when ridership works. Secondly, the fixed block system is very complicated in terms of infrastructure. It takes a massive amount of wayside signals, cables, power, and other ancillary equipment to operate the system. Implementing CBTC solves all of these issues. CBTC uses a moving block system that is under centralized control. With CBTC, we continuously know every train's location, direction of travel, and speed. This precision allows trains to travel together more closely and with increased safety. Being able to reduce the space between trains means we can provide more trains per hour when ridership warrants it. The wayside infrastructure needed for CBTC is also much simpler. Less maintenance is required because there are fewer things that go wrong. 